All right, so in this video, I want to quickly show you how you can just simply dockerize your Golang application and then use a tool called Air for live reloading, even when it's dockerized. And if you don't know, I made a video talking about Air before. I called this package to make it so much easier to write Golang code, which it really does. I released about eight months ago. If you want to find out more information, but here is the GitHub link. You make sure you give it a star. But let's just kind of go and jump right into it. All right, so you can see here I have a brand new directory with a main doc go and a go.mod file. There's nothing too crazy. My version is 1.22.0. And then this is a very simple HTTP server. It just prints hello world, not world as a typo. So all it does is print hello world. So let's go ahead and run this. So you can do go run main dot go and let's open up a new terminal and then here we can just simply curl local host 80 80 bang you can see here we get hello world which is great super simple but now let's actually dockerize this so it helps us to deploy if you want to use something like coolify or you know whichever you want to use to deploy this application okay so now that we have our docker file let's go ahead and make the image or pull the image so from golang we'll get one 22 from Alpine, which is kind of a bigger image, but that's all right. Let's declare our working directory as slash app. Let's copy the go files into our directory, then run uh, go mod download. Then we can follow that up by creating and copying the rest of the files if you want. Then we can do run go build dash o main main dot go, which will build our, uh, I'll compile go code, create executable called main from our main.go file. And then we can expose port 8080. And then lastly, the command, let's just make it main. Perfect. All right. Now we open this up. We can do docker build tag my go doctor. Let's grab everything. Okay, cool. And now we can actually run this. So docker run dash p 8080 to 8080 and do my go docker. Okay, perfect. We've got the same response. If you go back here and curl, we get hello world. So this is a very simple way to dockerize your Go code. There's actually something even further you can do to optimize on image space. After you built the actual binary, you can uh, create a multi-stage, so a different image, and just copy the main from your build image into what you will actually deploy. But maybe I'll save that for a future video. But for now, let's actually add air so we can hot reload this because a main issue is now if I change this to hello world exclamation point because I'm super excited and I recurl it, nothing happens. I literally have to go back to my Docker, tear it down, rebuild it. You can see there it's rebuilding, rerun it bang and now if i go i can see the exclamation points which is a terrible iterative experience so if we quickly go back to github.com and into the air dash verse air you can see they have a very simple example of how you can actually pull it you can use this version right here installation uses for docker for user don't want to use the air image you can see here we can just pull it which we're already doing we can install air via go install copy everything and run this command now before you run this command you actually have to download and initialize your own air file so what i found is i have air installed locally and you can just bind it to my path and i can run air and i found if i use that docker file exactly it doesn't actually work so what i found i had to do is do air init and that will actually generate this air.toml file with like these base configurations. And I've played around with a few of these. I've, I've asked ChatGPT for an optimized version. I won't even lie. And so I'll share it here with everyone so you can use what I use for a pretty bare essential toml file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. I'll paste mine here. You can see here config file for air and it gives you some helpful commands or command to build the app binary to watch, which is the main, which is the actual binary working directory, etc. And this is all fine. We're actually going to mount this to a volume in our Docker command so that we can actually get this Tomo file for hot reloading. Okay, so we have to switch a few things up here. We have to remove this run because we're not gonna be running this anymore. We have this, we're gonna declare our working directory. And then here, we're going to actually copy the install command that we saw earlier in the documentation. So go ahead and just paste that. Everything here is gonna be the same. You can copy this, expose, and we're actually gonna change this command here to air-c and then dot air dot t or not toml. Okay, cool. There you go. And if we go back and rerun that build command, so we should be able to rebuild it, should find it. There you go. It's found. And now if we want to run it, we actually have to do a little extra that mounting I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I zoomed out a little bit and I extended the screen because this command is gonna be a little long, but basically it's gonna be the same thing. Docker run dash P to bind our port. So 8080 to the container port. And here, this is the command to mount the uh, volume for our Docker container. Dash dash RM dash V PWD. It's gonna mount to slash app. 
and then v slash app slash tmp so temp directory we defined in the toml file and here to give it the name my go docker air and then my go docker the actual name and if you run this unable to find what oh uh, i actually ran into the error so i see here uh, i didn't specify the name sorry name there you go and now if you run this, there you go. So a little hiccup, but that's okay. So make sure you don't miss that name flag, but you can see here air built with go 122 watching building. If we go here and just kind of look and curl. So let me clear that curl local host 8080. We get the hello world. And now if I change this, I save it, go back to Docker. You'll see it actually reran main.go has changed. Now from this again, hello world. And let me just kind of pull this up. Let me just completely change this. Let's go something like that. Subscribe to Melky. If we save this, we'll get that. And uh, we, well, we should subscribe to Melky. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this super quick video. It definitely wasn't intended to be like an advanced thing, but a lot of people have been asking me since the Coolify video, how can I even set up my Docker containers and run Go code on it? This is a very helpful way. Obviously, if you're gonna use Air, you probably wanna separate that into two separate Docker images, one for dev, one for production, but I'll let you figure that out. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more Go content, more tech content, more any sort of content, and leave me a comment on what you'd like to see next time. Stay beautiful and power.